Oh, <laughs> forgot that this was on the screen. Hi. Um, welcome back to Outer Wilds. Let me get this going. Uh, come on, OBS. Man. Oh, it's. Oh, wait, wait. Should be. There we go. Hello. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Uh, we we got pretty far last time. I actually found a bunch of new stuff. I couldn't tell you what it was until we get into the game. Let me get my gamepad working really quick. It's always so finicky. Um, but yeah, welcome to the stream. Um, oh, come on. There we go. Oh, hi, Skittle Killer. Hey, -o, how's your day? Uh, super chill. I was actually like kind of falling asleep at one point. <laughs> Um, but I powered through it, um, and here I am. Uh, nothing really going on at all today, which is kind of how I prefer it anyways, so. Um, super chill weekend. Uh, how was yours, Skittle Killer? And, uh, welcome anyone else who might have just got here. Um, we're just gonna jump right back in. And I'll do a little recap, because I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna have to jump back in to remember what I did. I know the Quantum Moon was a big thing, and, um, doing a lot of hanging city stuff that we might have missed oh what's with the volume right now super low let's, uh, let's crank that up a little bit there we go all right loading back in i successfully completed my full day of absolutely nothing hell yeah that's how i like it like i said the ideal day for me <clears throat> oh, come on, controller. <gasps> That's quite the noise, yeah. Is, uh, did the options reset again? I'm getting some weird, uh... No, we should be fine. Ah, yeah, that's what you... I'm gonna try to, uh... Let's, let's try it, let's try that. See if it'll... Yeah, there we go, let's, let's move it out a little bit. Sweet, all right. Yeah, we're gonna jump just right back in. Um, hopefully you caught the last part, anyone who missed the last part. But we got a, quite a bit done. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end because, well, I, I wouldn't know, but like, it, it, based off of the ship log stuff, there's been a lot of different things that we got done. We just have a couple of uh, missing threads to complete, really. We got to the quantum moon for like a split second and then the sun exploded and went supernova, so that didn't really end too well. Oh, this is the controller that is on the fritz. Let me see if I can find that other one. Ah, it's over here. Found it. And then I'll be able to switch to my controller sprite. There we go. Let's get back. That. There we go. This, this controller doesn't randomly disconnect, so, uh, <laughs> vast improvement. Alright. And then let me switch over. There we go. Alright, let's see. Um, we got... Yeah, so we still have the stuff with the sixth location. No idea how that's gonna work. Um, and then we still gotta get under the ocean. Which... There's a thing with the construction yard... Still gotta get to the Black Hole Forge, which I, I don't know how we do that yet. But we explored the Ash Twins, like, a ton. Um, and so that was, like, that we probably learned the most from that, because that was, that was huge. Like, we, we got a lot done there. Um, but we still have, like I said, we still have to figure out how, um, Feldspar got underneath the ocean current, because, well... We gotta figure that out. We gotta get underneath the ocean and see what's down there in the Southern Observatory, I believe? Or is that... One starts at the Gravity Cannon and the other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Rybook says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right! Okay, so we gotta get... That's what it was. We gotta get to the Southern Observatory to figure out what they what they discovered about the ocean current that, will, that would get us underneath to the ocean depths. 
Perfect. And we still never found Feldspar, which hoping one day we do, but you know what they said. It's, uh... It's not looking great. Feldspar kind of just disappeared. Um, and still gotta figure out how to get to the Black Hole Forge, which I figured out at the literally the last second of the stream um, that... I, I like the new art you got, by the way. Oh, thank you! Uh, funny enough, this, this is from the artist I commissioned, my friend Duke. I just keep forgetting to use it. <laughs> um, but it, it's very, it's very cute. Um, I, I plan on trying to be better about that and use it more when I'm actually using a controller. Um, and so, let's see. Yeah, okay, so let's get to that Southern Observatory um, from uh, the Gravity Cannon on the Brittle Hollow surface. Because there's a path through and then the Ash Twins, they, the Ash Twins has a teleporter on it that, I, like, I, I found that out last second as, like, the thing was rotating through the sky. That it does have a teleporter on it. it. It functions the same as the other teleporters that we've seen. Um. So, let's, let's go check out Brittle Hollow, try to get to the Southern Observatory really quick. Um. Hope everyone's doing well. I always like coming back to this game because it's very chill. You can just kind of relax and uh, just chat and explore space, and it's, it's really nice. <clears throat> Alright. So the gravity cannon, which should be... That's the escape pod. Gravity cannon, I don't remember where you are, but where are you? See, that's where you can teleport to. To and from. Oh, excuse me, meteorite. There it is! Hi, Gravity Cannon. I am trying to remember how the controls work. <laughs> there we go. Alright, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. For a boost. Boost from the bottom. I don't know how orientation works. Uh, you know what? Let's just land in it. Why not? That seems like a good idea. Ow. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. No, 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 no. You got this. Don't panic. All right. I was gonna say I do have my spacesuit on, don't I? You never know. All right. So the Southern Observatory is accessible through air. But I don't know what the Southern Observatory even looks like, I'm going to be honest. Um, I guess we just have to find it. Cross the crossroads will probably lead there. Seems like a good idea. Have I, uh, have I even ever set foot in the Southern Observatory? Because it still has that question mark, and so something tells me that I've never even stepped inside of it. Which is... Interesting. Like I said, that's the thing. I don't even know what I'm looking for, so. Oh, there's an opening here. What's the here? Ah, train. Ugh, train's passing by. Hopefully it won't be too much of a bother. Um, well, these are the- this is the site of the, the- this is like the old- the old site, right? Where they like first crash landed from the escape shuttle? Oh, we're back at Rybeck's camp. Okay, okay, okay. So Rybeck... That's the gravity cannon. Because here's... Yeah, so here's these. Um, we did read the... We did read this. Yep. Might as well stop by to get some oxygen. Oh... <laughs> 
<laughs> really? <laughs> Fine, we'll eat a marshmallow. Eh. I'm hungry. Nice. Oh, do we need more? One more. Good enough for me. Alright. Power of Quantum Knowledge. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing it's up... Like, we can find, we can head towards the Southern Observatory from here? Like, from this actual signpost thing? If that's the Hanging City... Crystal Workshop. No, that's not what we're looking for. Honestly, the sign doesn't help at all. <laughs> so, if we head, maybe if we head towards the Hanging City, it'll lead us in the right direction. This feels like that's also like kind of a hub for other locations on the planet. Bear with me. I'm a uh, you know, weak break, so getting used to the, uh, used to how this goes again. Uh, is it one of these? Because that's the Gravity Forge, Eye Shrine, Health Water, School District. Damn it. I wonder if I can, oops, oh yeah, I can't do it from here. But I wonder if I can track, I can probably track that on the ship, right? And it'll lead me to the, the right place because I'm pretty sure it's one of the clues. And then there goes that. It should direct me, because that's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Um, and the Southern, the Southern Observatory seems to obviously be that giant dome, hence Southern. And so, we just gotta figure out how to get underneath that from like from the bottom because the top, the entrance is locked off. So would it be if that's the gravity cannon? That's the hanging city. The gravity cannon is that way. So that's east. East. That's west. So this would be south? <laughs> I have no idea. Should be. Yeah, because that's the hanging city over there. So it should be this way. Ryback, help. How do I fucking get there? Gravity cannon. The music's nice. I'm not even, I like, that's the thing is I didn't even, I never, gosh, I've never even seen anything that to me remotely, resemble, remotely resembles the bottom of the observatory, but it must be underneath the curve of the black hole, and so it's just, I can't see it. Um, again. Sorry, we're playing this blind, so it's a bit of a process. I'm gonna head over to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge and see if I can. No, of course I can't see past it. It's sucking up all the light. There's the old site over there. I saw the uh, the planks that were the uh, the construction for it. Southern Observatory, this way. Sorry, <laughs> vandalism, for no reason. Oh, 
shit. Uh. Oh. Well. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! J Jesus. Ugh. Oh, my face and body and everything. I don't really have a good sense of acceleration. If you haven't realized. Which is something that's very bad to not have a sense of in space. Good job, me. I feel like we're on the right track, though. I don't remember doing this. see some ghost some ghosty crystal matter thing Z whatever oh that's lovely uh how close can i get before yeah 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 right. <gasps> oh man okay <laughs> anxiety I mean, humans are usually bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't blame me. For the most part. I'll take like 5% of the fault. The rest is just bullshit, you know? Universe bullshit. Okay. Oh! God. Gotta get used to playing this game again, because god is it scary. Woo! Okay. Yo! Did we make it? I think we made it, because that looks like the tornadoes on... Or the, uh... You know. On Dragon's Deep. Funoi. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift the orbital pro cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that, u that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. Spire says, in update, it's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Oh. Oh, very important info. Yeah, yeah. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep ro rotate clockwise. There are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes off. I knew, I knew Feldspar piloted it, like, did something with piloting, because that's, that's Feldspar's thing. That spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. Cassava says, my gratitude, Spire. Kanoe is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? Spire says, the model will be useful as we continue monitoring, monitoring Giant's Deep. I also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> I respect that. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean... So, oh, okay, so if it's... Yeah. So if it spins, if it spins counterclockwise, that's how we know. Sweet. Okay. Wow, I would have never guessed that by myself. So, glad we got here. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty sweet. No, it's an entire map of the galaxy? That's awesome. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! That's the eye of the universe. Enable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for eye of the universe. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty hard to get to, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy, okay. 
Wow, this just, yeah, this, I'm really glad we, we came here. Conway says, how should our methods change as we continue to search for the Eye of the Universe? Mallow says, we know what the Eye looks like, thanks to the Quantum Moon, so what if we try to find the Eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Avins says, we need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Asava says, Giant Steep would make a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the giant- let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. Privet says, As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. So the, uh, the- the- Like, turning wheels that we found, with, like, the lenses, I'm guessing. Kasava says, Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Conway says, I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with R Ramier and Pai about the technology they're developing? Which was... I'm sure the ship is going to tell us. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Bloom says, Those of us on the vessel or originally followed the Eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the Eye itself. Rivet says, The locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to de detect any trace of the Eye signal. Right, the locators. The, the, that's what the lenses I was talking about. Why did I just get the SpongeBob voice going, And then you gotta take it around? Town with the eye couldn't be found. I mean, because it's accurate. Hypothesis The eye has stopped emitting its signal, says Evans. Kasava says, Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Plume replies, Kasava, how could you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. Kasava replies, I am aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Oof. Mallow says, based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system, sun. This would mean that the eye is located within a finite, finite, albeit enormous range. Finite. Sorry. Okay, so, I mean, we got a lot of, a lot of bits of info that I'm not too smart enough to put together at the second, so that's what our ship is for. Thank god. Alright, what's this gonna give us? Oh, right! This is what we saw in the- yeah! This is what we saw in the projection! That was a long time ago, but I still remember that. <laughs> you gotta do this, and that, and then this, and that, and then you gotta take it around <laughs> And this, and that, and this, and that, and that, and that, this, and that, that! <sighs> and then my ship just explodes. And this is the oak. This is the surface. This is where we were. Oh my gosh. It's all coming together, baby. Alright. Let's see if we can manage to at least get back to the ship without having to, uh. Having to big rip and do a reset. Which, I mean, wouldn't be terrible, but, you know. I want to see how much more we can get done. Which, you know, I'm not sure if when I got to the Quantum Moon, if it was just like a really limited amount of time that I had, or I had already wasted so much time trying to get to the Quantum Moon that the sun went supernova, um, or if it was like a, like if it was like a time anomaly type of thing, like if time sped up to the supernova, um, I might have just been unlucky trying to get to the, to the Quantum Moon. Or, uh, inefficient, I guess you would say, because, ow, because I didn't do a very good job of getting there. I wasted a lot of time even trying to get the camera to catch the moon and its lens. Let's get that, uh, let's, let's get that heal and refuel. There we go. Oh my gosh, we finally knocked that out. 
Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones that Nomai use to send components into orbit. However, there also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current, which is what we're going to do next. Cause I want to, basically, I want to explore everything before the quantum moon, because that feels very final. Because, I mean, according to what I've read, it seems like finding the quantum moon is going to lead to... It, it's, it feels like finding the quantum moon and, like, getting and getting to whatever the quantum moon, the sixth location, is going to lead to the eye of the universe. Like, it's going to lead directly towards the end. That's just how it, the quantum moon feels, because, I mean, you have to... Oh. oh yeah that's the uh the satellite because it feels like you have to um oh oops oh whatever it feels like you have to get to the quantum moon nah it's like halfway to 75 percent oh okay okay well that's good to know um hell yeah okay well we're just yeah we're just gonna go with the flow um but the quantum moon is really cool like i got to see it for like a minute The giant steep. Take a sip of my my bevy. I needed a soda. <clears throat> needed a soda to stay awake. It makes me feel like a fucking teenager. I already had my my actual coffee for the day. I can't just have another one because it's you know. I mean you you could, but it's not too great for you. All right, here we go. Giant Steep is terrifying to, uh, to enter the atmosphere of, so here we go. Uh, oh my god, uh, Thalassophobia! <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for something that goes counterclockwise. There's still things you gotta put together after the sixth location. Sweet. That's awesome. That's, good. That's really good to know, actually. Oh, hey! Found your ship. Wait, wait a minute, whose ship is that? That, that, that can't be... I don't remember who landed here. That can't be Feldspar's ship, can it? I don't think there's anybody else here. Did it? That was weird. Um, okay, so clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Counterclockwise! That one! Take me in, baby. Let's go. Yes. Oh my god, that's so cool. We did it. Whoa. What in the goddamn? Can I like swim into that? Is that safe? It was Gabro ship. Gabro. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. It was Gabro. I remember now. Because Feldspar did not get lost on this planet. Feldspar got lost in Dark Bramble. Supposedly. Uh, I'm scared. Like, I feel like this is going to fry my ship. But let's do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of knew it. So where, where is the, where do I got to repair you? On the, on the, uh, complete back. It was worth a shot. Oh man, we got under the current. That's so cool. Again, here, here's me going again with this game, being like, yeah, it's so cool. Feldspar taught you something you'll need here, though. Whoa. They did? <gasps> okay. Feldspar did leave that one log, that's right. Feldspar, what is your wisdom? I'm trying to remember. I might have to go find that audio recording that Feldspar left. Or uh, the notes? Was, it was an audio recording or it was notes that Feldspar left behind? Huh. These jellyfish... Are they... Something I can interact with. 
This is gonna be, again, this is gonna be stupid. <laughs> Listen, I'm just experimenting, all right? Don't, don't judge me. Feldspar, Feldspar. Okay, so Fel, I remember, I remember the log, I vaguely remember the log talking about Feldspar diving underneath the current. But they definitely said more. And I feel like the electroshock from this might kill me. So. Hmm. Feldspar, what did you teach me? I'm trying to remember. Jelly. Wait. Jellyfish. No. Okay, okay, that's just, that's just, that was just, uh, a coin I suppose. Alright, let's, let's go back up and see if we can find that one recording that was mentioned. Uh, there goes the sun. Never mind. Uh, well, we're coming right back here. That's for sure. Uh, the reactor. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> oh, please clip that. Oh my god. Please, please tell me somebody is gonna clip that. Oh my god. Oh, there's tears in my eyes. Oh. That was amazing. That was so funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Oh my god. Okay, let me read this. Some sort of electrical field <laughs> is surrounding the planet's core. Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant Steve. Uh, I wish I knew how to clip things. I hardly ever actually use Twitch. Oh, if you hit the, uh, if you hit that share button, like click the, the 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 Steam ass cog wheel, like the Steam logo, basically, um, should uh, bring up like a thing that's like clip or whatever. But it's okay if you don't get it; it'll be on the vod. Oh my god, that was that was so good. Jesus Christ. Okay, I get, gotta get my head in the game for a minute here. So funny. Did we 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 never fully explored the uh, the probe cannon either, did we? Is that, like, something I, I should get done? Is that, um... Central chamber inside the- Oh, we never got to the inside of the ash twin, either. Or the anglerfish fossil. But I really want to do giant steep. That, I, that's, like, something I really want to do, so... I want to figure this out. Let's go find that log that, um, Feldspar left. Maybe it'll give us an idea. I'd love to see people reacting to the black box for that. <laughs> and this pilots is why we always repair the reactor first. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, please. Please learn from me. Don't make the same mistakes I did, everyone. Let's uh let's check out the probe cannon really quick. See if we can uh get to the other chambers maybe, if that's a thing. I mean it already fired. So it's already broken. Oh my god. Oh hey, quantum hi quantum moon. How you doing? Hmm. Oh come on. Work with me here, ship. I mean, it's almost entirely my fault that you're not working how I want you to, but 
I did kind of blow you up the last time, so I don't entirely blame you. Or any beef you might have with me. Ah, my eye is itchy. Don't itch it. Don't itch my eye. Allergies. Oh, hey. What was that? Did we ever find... Oh, right. It's doing the thing. With the... With the... With the... With the yeah. Yeah, we know about that. Oh, well that... Well, it didn't seem to, but I, I was wondering, would that melt in the sun? Hmm. Alright, um, let's find that island. Here we go. Here's... here's Gavro. We haven't seen it in a while. Honestly, if I remember right, they were they were my favorite, so I'm gonna be pretty excited to see them. Unidentified signal. Did I never? Oh, I never tracked your signal. That's silly. There we go. Hi, Gabbro. Oh yeah, I found your ship. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did look like he was having a good time. <laughs> Kinda. I found something. I found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. I feel like we we talked we talked about this. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, and this was a uh, ghosty. All right. Let's see if we can find that log. I have no I have no recollection of of where it is, but we're gonna try to find it. I should have checked the campsite a little bit better, but too late. It's not up here. Oh, Alright. Yeah, bro, I'm coming back. Ow! What's wrong with me? Yeah, bro's just like, kid, did you just fling yourself off of a cl What's wrong? What? Are you- what? Um, if it's not here, it's on another island, that's for sure. Feldspar, I need your wisdom. Your wisdom isn't here, Feldspar. What are you doing to me? All right. Must be on the uh, statue island. And also, I need to remember to heal um, before I leave the ship. All right, Statue Island. Where are you? I hope you're not in orbit and I'm not gonna be able to find you. Hopefully you land. Sweet. Just to make sure that, uh, you don't get sucked up. Alright. Let's see... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. And this was the, uh... Statue workshop. Right, right. Never got in there, did we? Also kind of my bad, but ah, uh, where's my Tony Hawk rewind button so I can just undo my mistake? I can just no the gravity suit the gravity suit heavy. Okay, so all right, I can make it. That's, that's good. Range is a little bit wider than I I I would think. 
This feels familiar. This feels like we might be able to find it here. Oh, and that's one of the shelters so that you don't get sucked up. Or like when it when the island does get sucked up, you can uh, not get stuck in the atmosphere of space and die. I feel like I, yeah, I'm definitely missing something when it comes to um, this whole thing, this whole puzzle here. Oh, oh right, this is a uh, yeah, this is a teleport. Uh-oh. That's not good. This is really bad timing, actually. Right. Ah! I can't boost over the wall! There we go. Let's hope that I can get there in time. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. So, yeah, I, I'm wondering if, like, there, there has to be something that I'm missing when it comes to this whole thing. And it probably has to do with it getting lifted into the sky, I'm assuming. But the ship will definitely have something to say about this whole thing. So the only thing, the only place that I saw has somewhat of an, like, a, a glimpse into underneath was over here, was it? Yeah, yeah, over here. Right, so it, so it is from under the water. Or at least under the island. You could potentially, uh, you could potentially at least pilot underneath the ocean and then pull up underneath the cave, maybe? That's worth a shot. Just have to hope that it's not under the current, but I doubt it. It's the, yeah, it's this thing. I remember this thing. Okay. Um, let's, let's, let's get back to the, uh, well, yeah, I know my giant steam. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Hey. A statue over there. Let's go. Let's go look at that really quick before we uh, open any doors. Oh wow! And here's the skeletons as usual. <gasps> a recording. Yero, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in its closest proximity. When pairing. Statue will choose whoever is in its closest proximity. Is that. Is that how. This happened 200,000 years ago, apparently? Like the, the test on the sun? Is it because they were utilizing the statues to just respawn? Like, like we are? See how his eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Whoa. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have a first successful bearing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. We have a storage unit? An Ash Twin? Bingo-ish. Oh! 
each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those shared memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, so we're getting... Holy shit. Okay. That- No way! That- Oh my god, that's what we've been seeing! Oh my god, my mind! <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project, Flox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I'd imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of this problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Whoa. I am uncomfortable with the implications of that. This is what I was taught. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is the thing. That was what we saw. Oh, man. Oh, man. This game. And we're back to the outside. Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Blowing my mind. All right, so, so, computer. No, my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin Project, right? Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin Project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which would then send those shared memories or stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Dude. Dude. Bro. Alright, so. Now I just gotta figure out what Feldspar. How, like. Now I just gotta figure out how, how to uh, get to the the inside. I mean, I mean, uh, within the giant's deep, giant's deep's core. You know what I'm talking about. And I didn't see Feldspar's notes on this island unless I missed them. Taking a, a, a last little cursory glance. Doesn't look like it. So is it on the um, the orbital piece, like the piece that gets launched into space and then comes back down? Cannon part, I mean. Sorry, it's just been so long since we came to this. Uh, came to this uh, planet. It's Morzy. Hello, just stopping by to wish you an amazing stream. Oh, thank you so much. That is so nice. I hope I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. That's so nice. Aww. That warms my heart. I know that that's notes that they left behind about the cannon. Leave that I just saw on the ground. This. And the projection stones. So, it's probably a good idea to check the other side as well.
Sonic Heroes. <laughs> I don't know why, but the loop-de-loop -loop just makes me think of Sonic. I mean, I know why, but, you know. Alright, Feldspar, please, please don't let me down. Where, where, where are you, Feldspar? Where's your notes? God, say you get. Alright, well, um... Where else is there to check? Feldspar, I don't remember where you left them. It's been, like, years since I came here. Or, yeah, came to this planet, not here. Was it at the campsite and I just missed it? I hope not. Feldspar, you're my only hoe. I hope we get to meet them, by the way. Statue Island. Bramble. Piece of... Whatever. Oh, maybe at the, uh... At the tower? It's the last place I can think of, so it's worth checking. Oops. Yeah, that's right. I doubt it's at the top. So if it's not here... Yeah. Grrrr! Angry! I'm not angry. I'm just like, huh. <laughs> angry. I'm so mad. Use your signal scope. Ah, uh, see, I was thinking we could use the probe. I was just afraid it would just have the same result and short it out. But, you know what? It's probably obvious, and I'm just silly. That's okay. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. It's, it's quantum? Oh, are you saying it's on Gabro's Island? Or are you mean the, uh, the scout, the scout launcher? I, this is just me being silly. I don't know. But it's quantum, though. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Whoa. I know. Wait, of course it's not this. I'm silly. It's 800 meters away. I just didn't look at how far away it was. Alright. 
<laughs> Sorry. Still figuring things out as 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 it is as it, as it happens to be. I wonder if I could talk to... Did I ever talk to Gabbro about getting underneath the current? Because I feel like Gabbro should have something to say about that. Yeah! Oh, I reached the inside of Statue Island! So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what it's for, but it seems like their sort of thing. You think the statues are recording our memories, then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. Must be my memory, friend. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bro. Wow, I guess we don't have anything to say about getting to the inside. I feel like that's a pretty big thing, but... Is there anything even in here? Or is this just, like, a cave of death to, like, die fast? Um, I don't know. I hate to ask for a hint this early, but Skittle Killer, do you know where Feldspar's notes are? Or if I can't find them? Maybe a hint about how to get under the electrical current. Because <laughs> I feel like I, I did this I did this planet such a long time ago that I don't remember where those notes are. Because Feldspar did leave notes about getting getting underneath. Yeah, bro, we're flying. Are you cool with that? <laughs> this is that's great. Hey, uh, so like, how do you feel about being in orbit? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, I see what you're trying to do now. I thought that Feldspar left the like le left notes around here after they got through the thing, and that would have been like a hint as to how to get into it. All I remember is like the note being like, "Hey, I did it! That's the, like woohoo! I did it!" Some sort of electrical field. Oh my god. The thing you learned was but the thing you learned was on Dark Bramble. Ah. Here's the thing. We haven't even been there yet, so I guess that's our next stop, huh? Oops. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> ah! Ah! Thank you, trees. Well, there goes the sun. Okay, now I know. Oh my gosh, I wasted that whole loop. I am so sorry. Live and learn. Oh, I know what to do now. I'm not 100, 110% sure if I saw it in a stream or another one. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. No worries. Honestly, it's just me just canoodling around trying to figure out what I'm doing. Look at all the time I wasted just being like, what do I do? All right. So I do want to see if the note, uh, if the note on the Bramble Island, because that's where Feldspar camped. I want to see if the note on Bramble Island had anything, and if it doesn't, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, Dark Bramble itself for the first time, which that's gonna be fun. Which we still haven't figured out how to, um... That's the thing. 
There was a whole thing with the anglerfish stuff, and that seems, like, terrifying, because I have no idea what that even means. But apparently those things are on Dark Bramble, which is... new shit. Um... So... First things first. Head back to Giant Steep. Read the Felspar's note, just to see if I can glean anything from that. And then, uh... To Dark Bramble we go. For the first time. Which, again, that's gonna be scary been kind of saving that one as well because it seemed extremely like hey this one's scary then you're gonna be scared and cry because there's giant fish apparently space fish Spooktober, yeah, it is. It's funny. I would, I would do something for that if I didn't already stream horror games all the time. <laughs> That's the thing when you already like spooky things. Oh. All right, let's hang out here and. Until we hit, uh, hit the ground again, so I don't... Lightly. There we Brute force isn't always the answer. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Huh. Okay, I feel like we don't have enough from that yet, but... I mean, hey, it's something. Brute force isn't the answer, obviously. Thank you, Feldspar. Alright, now off to Dark Bramble. Yeah, wait, wait, but Feldspar didn't even get to Dark Bramble yet, but maybe that's the only way we can figure out what Feldspar did, so. Oh, great. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no. The, the gravity's too heavy for me to get up there. How am I going to get my ship back? Oh, my God. You got to be kidding. Well, you know, you know, it, it won't hurt to just reset. Just go to just just take a nap. Just go to just go to sleep. Wait for a twister in Star Wars. I'm sorry, it's too late. <gasps> Your gasp wasn't so dramatic this time, even though I feel like that would be a really painful death. Who am I to judge, I guess? Probably. Who knows? Alright. Well, uh, yeah. D to Dark Bramble it is. Let's, let's try it out. Or just do what my injuries have thought, thoughts tell me to do at work. Real. What am I doing? That's Brittle Hollow, not Dark Bramble. Silly ween. There we go. Auto 
autopilot has saved me so many times from launching into the surface and killing myself and everything around me. Let's go! Oh man. Alright. First, first time coming into the Dark Bramble. This is gonna be interesting. Let's, uh, let's check out the outskirts really quick. You never know. I'd kick myself if I didn't and missed something, so... Alright. Doesn't look like it. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Oh! Oh, I hate it. What the fu- Oh no, it's alive! Good luck, you'll need it. Oh no! I'm scared. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, the red one is different. So let's go to the red, because it's, it's different from the other ones. Um, or not, or we shouldn't, or maybe we don't do that. Oh, I thought that was a big ass thing. Red is pretty. Oh, hey, it's another thing. God, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I go to the red one then? That feels right, because we didn't get eaten yet. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Cool. That was terrifying. So don't go to the white ones because that's the, the anglers. Okay. Red is good. White ones are bad. And scary. And we don't like those ones. There it is. There it is. Okay. Dude, they're right there! Eating my scout! That's not fair. Wait. Wait. Big brain? What if I do that? And then it's a duplicate signal, so I just will follow the duplicate signal. Ow! God, what is wrong with me? Oh god. Well, I've learned from last time. Repair the reactor. Oh my god. I, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. They're not that way. Because there's one above me. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Which one is the duplicate signal? I forgot. Okay, this is the original. Dude! 
dude! Oh, I'm so unlucky, man. Okay, well, let's see if we can go where none of them are. Is there anything in here I can find? Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. It sucks, it sucks, it's bad. I hate it. I hate it. If I just like gun it, <laughs> if I just gun it, maybe I can. The one you didn't launch, it'll make me later. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Don't do that. your fault the planet jumped out of nowhere that would fell this is so scary why is this so scary it shouldn't be this scary wait wait whoa okay uh wait but i don't see anything see any lights around me this time is it safe oh never mind never mind no they're coming oh they they smell me they smell my fear wait but the scout isn't here there's no duplicate signal am i where i'm supposed to be maybe oh my brain hurty Don't hurt me, please. Okay, uh... Scary. Ah! Orientation is hard to do in a place like this because I feel like something's gonna kill me every five seconds. That's a, that's a bad. Okay, not that. And that's also a bad, so not that. Oh no. Oh no, besties. There's a puzzle happening. But my brain is too small. Geronimo. Geronimo! Woo! Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it! Let's see if I can if I can figure out what angle to approach it at. That'll I could just like shoot past them. It seems like they're literally right on the- they're right on the- the portal! What am I supposed to do? Oh, man. I have to. It's the only option. No. <laughs> it's the only thing I can do. Wait. I saw a tunnel over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go for it. Oh no. All right, here we go. I'm so, uh, I hate it. Just go, just blast past them. What? Whoa, what happened? Where am I? What's going on? <laughs> Aligning flight trajectory? Why is it going to, wait, why did it autopilot the sun? Okay. 
Where am I? What the fuck? What's going on? What's that? Wait, Nightbot just muted you. Let, let me see what it said. I, uh... Was that supposed to happen? I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. I feel like something bad, like something wrong happened. What? 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 Why is the Bramble Hue still on the screen? Did I just break the game? Did my passive act did my passive ability activate where I I broke the game? Uh I think I broke something. Oh no. I'm so why am I so good at breaking video games? Let's uh Should, should we give it a should we give it another try? <laughs> let's let's give it another shot, I guess. Alright, let me try to exit the ship. Whoa! Why was it going so fast? Did you see that? What the it was like flying! I got out and it was like going like hyper speed. Whoa. I broke something really bad, didn't I? <laughs> well. Now we can, um. I, I, I guess now we can. And now we can try again? Without them, like, spawn camping the portal? I, I guess it worked out for- for- I guess it kind of worked out. Go to the North Pole here. Okay. Is it for that- the- the Bramble Seed that we saw? This? Yeah! Oh, man. Oh. Right. So it's- it is spreading. It's like taking over our planet. Is that a dark bramble seed? Yeah. We used the- I remember this. We used the scout launcher and it was like... Spooky scary. Yeah. Dang. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Whoa. What? What? That's cr uh, <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, so it's like growing out of a one of the anglerfish. Duplicate six. <gasps> oh! Wait, so we. Yo. No way. Is that. Wait a minute. That's so cool. So I can use that to find that little island. Oh. My goodness. That's so interesting. That's- oh my gosh. I'm so intrigued. Alright, we're gonna find that island. Thank you for that hint, by the way. Like that- like you just being like, oh, go check that out again. Like that- oh, that's so cool.
Not you. It's not close enough, is it? Wait, but it's coming directly from that. Is that right? <gasps> oh! Yeah, you're so right, too. Whoa. You're not the one that we're looking for. This, wait, this looks familiar. <gasps> there it is. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in... Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! Feltzbar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. You crashed? <laughs> but you're the greatest pilot in Arthian history! I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one ever had before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You seen them? Big, gnarly things. And this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, and it's nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making a noise like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Surely enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Camped out near where I crashed at first. Found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my set up here and I planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. No wonder there's so many stories about you back home. Yeah, <laughs> you're not half bad yourself, making it here in one piece. Well, anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchlin. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you wanted? Uh, I found a dark bramble seed on Timberhurst. That's bad business, Hatchlin. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center, and just keep growing, and grow uh, kept growing, and growing and growing, until it shattered the planet, and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, Lack, I suspect Timberhearth will be heading towards the same fate. I tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. 
Hey, actually, pull up a marshmallow stick. Ah, oh, Feldspar, I love you. Where should I? Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere's good, but you you should know that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried to throw in your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space don't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But inside, it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is the space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside the seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble, keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Oh, man. Uh, where's your ship? I mean, it blew up. Not far from here, as a matter of fact. If you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flicker and light in the fog. Follow that, and you'll follow, find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway. What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As far as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating the seed, and then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? Skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they'll mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Uh, shouldn't I tell Growl Control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you got the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet. Peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best thing that ever was. Been nice to have in it. Have a break. Oh, Feldspar, I love you. You reached the core of Giant's Deep. How would you do it? Ah, Giant Deep, Giant's Deep's core, huh? Ugh, that was a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'd want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be the old ship. Path starts there. Uh. Oh, okay. I have nothing else to share. Feldspar, I'm so happy I got to meet you. I'm like really happy. That's so cool. Oh, man. I'm so happy. There's that flickering light. Hell yeah. So cool. Feldspar's alive. They crashed their ship and is now and are now camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's do something like that. Nice. No! God damn it, me. There I go again, yucking it up. Alright. I wanted to see where else I could, uh, send this. It does- oh, it just leads back here? Alright. Alright. Just- just wanted to make sure. You never know. Eh. 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 There we go. This- I'm so happy that we got to meet Feldspar. where their old ship crashed. Yep. Ooh, that has a really cool design. Well, here we go. Ugh. Ouchie. 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 Okay. I'll 
seems like we gotta take a take a walk. Trip four? Entry number. I'm gonna say not one. Crashes, three. Boring crashes, zero. A personal best. Whoa! Never thought I'd see one of these beauties outside of Giant Steep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here. Yeah, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what's if what's in there tastes any better. I, wait, so I was onto something, kind of. <gasps> Whoa! Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you're dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from energy. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Ah, ah, I was onto something. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, man. So we were on the right track. The, in the jellyfish will insulate you from your electricity if you manage to get underneath the cap. Sweet. Feldspar, I'm coming back. Love how Feldspar puts eating good tasty food over dying of starvation. I mean, honestly, relatable. Like, eat, the, eat this disgusting... Eat this, uh... <laughs> Here, eat this dirt to live. It has nutrients, or just die. I'd be like, yeah, I'll just die. Sweet. Well, uh, let me check in with your feldspar. See if you have anything to say about that. Whoa, 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 ship, whoa. Okay, roll. Yep. There you go. Man, this skeleton is fucking awesome. Uh, hey man, why are you drifting away? Goldspar! Hi. Found the frozen- I fro- yeah, I found the frozen, frozen jellyfish in your ship. <laughs> so the old thing's still there, is it? That's where I first camped out after the crash, you know. It was pretty cozy and sad. It does lack the structural integrity and indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Hell yeah. I'm so happy. This game is so, is so good. It's so charming. Let's see if we can find anything else. I doubt there's too much more 
to find in this, like, little chamber of secrets. But... I felt our ship. It's worth taking a look around until everything explodes, inevitably. Ah! Also, we could go explode on an anglerfish. That'd be pretty funny. Should we do it? I say we should probably do it, because I think I would, it, would, it would be... be pretty, uh... Got another, got about half, another half hour until I gotta go to dinner. Oh yeah, of course. Dinner is important. What does the, uh, what does the terminal say about Dark Bramble? Let's see. Oh, guess not too much. Um, what about behind map? Oh, the vessel. Ooh, idea. Get a target set, find a fish, set on a pilot, and bail. Ooh, that would be fun. What's going on with this marker there? After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation. Learned the hard way. Apparently still haven't checked out the Hollow's Lantern, even though it's entirely lava and you can't do anything on it, but... Alright. I wonder if we could find the vessel, and how you would even do that. Here we go. Oh wait, I wanted to bail. No! Damn it. Oops. I messed up. <laughs> Well, damn it. It was worth a shot. I just accidentally went to the landing. Uh, instead of unbuckling, I went to the landing gear. <laughs> I found Feldspar. No one, you know, I can't tell you. Oh. Well. Not to backseat game, but you want to try giving the quantum moon another poke? Yeah! I think that'd be fun. So, the way that I got to it last time, I'm sure that I'm doing it in like a really weird way that you're not even supposed to do it. I, I don't know. But uh, the way that I got to it was I went to our moon. Where's our moon? Here we go. The Addle Rock. Went to the Addle Rock. And oh, it's it's over there. We could just do it off of the we could just do it off of the off of the Ash Twin. Whoa, 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 whoa,
and not as good as Feldspar was or is. Nice. Wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> this is the Ash Twin. What am I doing? Oh my god. And I'm suffocating. I oh my god! That was terrible! I didn't even put on my spacesuit. What's wrong with me? Uh, okay, well. That was embarrassing. Two horrible failures in one. Pro gamer strats, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. There was the quantum moon. I, it's such a nice detail that you can even see the quantum moon when you blink, like in the in the opening. Like that's crazy. This time, don't do that and put on your suit, idiot. Okay. Let's try that again. Hi, Adam Rock. Alright, and then we just spin around until it shows up. We. Come to our planet, please. We There it is. I saw it four times. Autopilot, please don't crash us like I crash us all the time. failed me because there's no gravitational pull god damn it you fucking asshole okay. no What is what in the fan dangling Rube Goldberg kind of setup is this? I know, all right, I know. It's not the way that you're supposed to do it, but it's the only way I figured out how to do it. I literally just used the camera on the moon, and then flew into it, and it worked. Oh, there it is. You can try it over here. Strategy is stupid. Oh. oh. Oops. I totally forgot that you only just have to take a single picture of it. Alright. There we go. I didn't end up here last time, that's for sure. Last time I came here, it was a big old tower. This is cool. Oh, there it is! Hey. So... So it, the appearance of it changes based off of what planet you're at. So if this one's like caves and crystal, 
Tools. Huh. I'm wondering if it, we could get inside the Ash Twin project by by doing this. Maybe that's something. Also, I wonder, if you close the door and, like, turn the lights off and shut your eyes, will you go between planets? Not shut your eyes, but make it dark so that you can't see. <gasps> it does work! It does work! Oh. E <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. the sixth location yet. I did not. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I don't believe so. realize something. Ooh. Look at the text for quantum imagery in the tower. Oh, okay. Gotta make it appear again. Whoa. go in it, but... But what is this? Is it gonna, like, lead me into the planet? Because I don't want to leave yet. I guess I'll, let's go back to the tower first, because you, you said to me, you were like, check it out. Uh, I gotta make it appear. Alright, let's get to an open area. There's the thingy. There we go. You've recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. That was a long time ago. Quant that the tower told us how to how to do that. Does the picture look familiar? Yeah, it's the it's the the third one? This one? It's isn't it the the tower that gets sucked out and spit through the black hole at, at uh Brittle Hollow? Oh, do we have to Oh. Oh, so we need to go to Yeah, and the others is Giant Steve. So do we need to go to those those planets and like recall that rule so that it so I would go to Brittle Hollow. What? Wait, 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 wait. That's the That's the eye of the un um Holy shit. Okay.
Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What? I have an idea. Wait. This is probably not gonna work, but... Yeah, it's not dark enough. I just want to see what it looks like, at least. Wow. Wait. Oh my god. There, one of them was here. I, I do want to see what this does. It's the fucking- Oh, it's the ship! Solanum says, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed on the moon's south pole. I'll make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that this is true. As a child, I considered such a known sinister. Now, though I understand they bear no ill will, the universe is, and we are. I'm ready. Okay. I will do that. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Quantum death! Quantum death! Oh my gosh. Shit's- Oh, so everything's moving around! But what does it mean? That's so cool. So... So, sh I I'm, I'm thinking we should go back to that cave then. And see if there's something that we can find in there to recall the as they want us to. I mean, I know it's that if you're a part of the object, the object will move with you, and that's what the tower is doing. Much longer are you gonna stream for? Uh, I'm probably gonna go for the full three hours. Um, usually three hours, three thirty, or three hours, thirty minutes, or four up to four hours. So I'm gonna try to hit that like usual. Oh, and here's the ship again. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. You'll be starting the DLC at some point next hour wild stream. I'd hope so. That'd be awesome. I didn't mean to recall. I, I was just looking through the ship. Oh no. Well. That's that's unfortunate. I, yeah, I really hope that we can start the DLC. That'd be awesome. 
Well, here we go. <laughs> okay, you'll learn the rules for the next visit there. Yeah, right, all right. So I'll, I'll head over there really quick and um, and go back to that tower and figure out the, the rule of the sixth location. amazing by the way just launched right into hollow's lantern bottom shuttle and gr the gravity cannon right found a dead no in a spacesuit near the south pole Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole. Yeah, that's, that's right. Can't spoil anything, but you're about to get to the point I genuinely have has goosebumps. Oh, I'm I'm really glad. I'm really happy. That's that sounds great. All right, well, time to head over to uh, Brittle Hollow and read the rule of the sixth location. Flying into Hollow's Lantern uh, updated it on the map because that would be hilarious. having a great time with this. Even when you mess up, it really doesn't... It, like, even when you mess up and you die, or, you know, whatever, you don't, like, really get a run in the way that you wanted it to, it doesn't ever feel like a negative experience. It always feels like you're learning something new. I mean, even if what you're learning is that you made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Do you think I could make that? <laughs> Why not? Let's try it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. Well, now what? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. No! Ah! <laughs> Alright, well, Whitehole's 
station. Here we come. Turn it on. Now we wait. Well, I either... Well, either wish you luck in Quantum Dirty, but I gotta go to family dinner. Yeah, go eat! Go have fun! Go, go get some snacks. Have a nice time. I might even be streaming when you get back. Um, either way, if you can't make it back, don't worry about it. The VOD will go up, and, uh, yeah. Oof. I hope you have a... <laughs> yeah, autocorrect. I hope you have a great dinner, though. See if I can sneak my way in. We'll just go through the gravity cannon entrance again. Name broke. Yeah. Okay, let's get a quick refuel and heal. going a little bit quiet there. I'm just, like, thinking about the plan. I get to that tower. I might get sucked out into orbit before we can even get there. But, um, if I remember correctly, the path up to the top of it is broken anyway, so we might even have to wait for that to happen. This... miss a way to turn this on. I'm just repeating the same mistake. This, this is the definition of insanity. It's just doing the same thing. Expecting different results. And I could have just jumped through there. Too late. Whatever. But yeah, look. The walkway is broken. So. Not sure how well that's going to go. How long it takes for the uh You're fucking kidding me. Really? Oh my god. Ugh! So frustrating. I wonder how long it takes for it to collapse anyways.
is that? Probably nothing, but... That's not what I was looking for. Whatever. Times the charm. We're gonna just do the stupid way that I've done before, which is just fly it directly into the area. Try to just fly it into there through one of the openings in the mantle. Uh, but I wouldn't be a good astronaut if I didn't get my ass beat literally constantly. I can finesse this in. It'd be really stupid. It's worth a shot. But no way. <laughs> All right. Here's the unfortunate problem. Again, there's no way to get up there until this thing gets sucked into the black hole. I'm pretty sure. in quite a bit of time, so we might just have to wait around for a minute. Where are those? What's that about? Wait a sec. Roll of the sixth location, here we come. It's gotta fucking get there. Okay, so. Descend the steps to get in. Not the other way around. Entrance you guys got. So how do I fucking get in? It'd be like super cool. It's literally only that walkway that you can get in, but uh, it's kind of a problem with that. Everything's hella busted. gotta wait for it to collapse and go into zero G. That's just that takes so long. Oh 
one. My ship already fell through the black hole, so... We might have to wait for that. <laughs> no way I can boost up there. Ooh, there comes a piece. Oh, there it goes! That means we're close. Be any time now. Come on, hit my island. Come on! You know you wanna. Come on, Hollow's Lantern. Got one job. this tower the fuck up. Ooh. To the tower. Hey, it's coming back around. ship, but I think it's, like, drifted off out of, way out of the orbit of the planet by this point, or of the black hole. Is that it? Is this it? Oh, shit. What? Come on. Lame. Hit the tower. I want to learn the rule of the sixth location. Oh, we're going. Yeah. Finally. Woo! Ow, ow. Can't see anything. We can get into the tower. Ow! What the f <laughs> Really? It's not necessary. Yeah, you can't get in there without zero G. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage on the to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, came stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin. No communication between these two groups to survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we even discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Oh, that's really touching. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparation on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many of our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. 
You'll be aided on your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built to the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the north mo the moon's north pole. Oh. Be curious on your journey. That's the sixth rule. It has to be on the north pole. I wonder how we make that happen. Does all visitors arrive on the south pole? find the piece that went to this? I'm not seeing it anywhere. I think it might have been lost in the, uh, the transfer to the black hole. But I wouldn't know how to find it. Yeah, I don't know. But that's it. That's the sixth rule. It has to be. But it has to be be on the North Pole. Huh. There's my ship, at least. <laughs> well, good job, me. Jesus. I'm gonna run out of fuel and not even get there in time. And suffocate. Must be the sixth location rule. Uh, forget to where my computer is. Yeah, the moon must be on the or the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. The shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Well, there you go. So, we have a couple of options. I do want to... Okay, what does this say? There's more to explore in the Sunless City. Oh, okay. We never, fin we never finished doing that. Now we know how to get to the Quantum Moon. Or, uh, how to get to the sixth location. So maybe we should do that? Sounds like... That actually sounds like a pretty fun idea. No! Ah! Eject! <laughs> yeah. I should have actually like hit the eject button. That would have been... been really good. Now we know. <sighs> We're definitely going to do that first before we like finish off the segments for the other planets because it's the quantum moon. Like, come on. It's so exciting. Just gotta figure out how to get it to, to the north pole. Wait. I didn't put on my spacesuit. Like an idiot.
What a way to land. Okay. Are you gonna teleport too? God, that's spooky. Alright, so this is the South Pole. I just gotta get to the north somehow. I have no idea how. <laughs> There must be, there must be, like, one of the planets, perhaps, that you could, uh, perhaps one of the planets that you could land in from the tower, you can get to the north side. That's the only thing I can think of. One of the... One of these should be able to get to the north, the north side of the planet. Like, it has to be able to. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so mean. This would be perfect, but... This huge patch of, of Dark Bramble is right in the way. I mean, maybe, maybe this will be good enough. I, I hope so. Is it close enough? No. Damn it. It's gotta be right on the North Pole. So one of the other planets should should be able to get we should be able to get there in theory damn it no For us to reset. <laughs> We're close though. We're getting close. So, certain planets you're able to hit the North Pole. Certain ones you're definitely not. So, one of these you have to be able to get there. Not sure which it's gonna be, but. Gonna figure it out. One way or another. That was kind of my fault, though. I probably shouldn't have even tried to jump in that thing. I feel like it was worth a shot, though. Oh, Quantum Moon. That's Giant Steep.
So, South Pole. North is not happening here. We're gonna have to... <laughs> At least not yet. I'm gonna have to get closer first. Which Dark Bramble so far had the best odds in getting that done. Or Giant Steep. Just this time just don't touch the spinning vortex of death and destruction. Very close, but not close enough. Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. This is it. We gotta find. It's the eye of the universe. Oh my god. So Lottam, who are you? Me, me stone. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Oh my god, <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did? What's the what is the quantum moon? This is the quantum moon, where we're both standing. Despite also orbiting uh, other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's is the eye of the universe's moon. <gasps> oh. Explain it to me, please. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? 
The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer that the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristic the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. I think, so it's just its nature? I think I understand. two tenets of know my philosophy to seek out and to understand is our way of living. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth and now we call it home. This is so amazing. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the Eye cannot be reached from here, the Quantum Moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the Eye than any other place we know. As I've journeyed here to be close to the Eye, and while the Eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the Quantum Moon's reflection in the Eye in the sky above us. Many in my clan have believed the Eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe that the Eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them completely. But I don't fear the Eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the Eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have an hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh my god. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. But what were to happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Oh man. I know, I, I'm just... I'm so overwhelmed. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come looking here for if you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. What about me and you. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you don't mind if I think of you as a friend. No, you're my friend too! Oh my god. That makes me so emotional. Um what about me and the quantum moon? What is what is that? I mean, the, the eye of the universe. What does that mean? Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know. I don't know what else to ask you. me in the quantum moon. Oh, no, that's like, is this your first time on the quantum moon, right? I 
I think the only thing I haven't done is explain and identify me. Right, and then identify. It's, I've, I've never seen a species of your kind. That was incredible. I, like I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm so glad that we got to meet Anomai, especially Solanum, who was, you know, we've we've read so much about them, and I'm glad it's like, you know, they were kind of the legacy and like what was left behind of the Nomai and, and what it, you know, what they were trying to achieve. So to get to to get to meet them and like witness that. back home. I don't know if there's a way to even reach the EI from from the quantum moon itself. I met a living nomai named Solana. I'm at the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. And at this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Sol Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Shit. So... Now what? I, I suppose we just complete the map, right? Go back to the Sunless City, find Escape Pod 3 in the vessel. Dark Bramble. And the Anglerfish fossil. So, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what could...
Uh, okay. Um, I guess we, like, I guess we just complete the map, because I don't think there's anything else to do. Except complete all of the, all of the pieces. So, I guess we should figure out what the Ash Twin project was. Or, like, we know what it is, but I guess we should get there. And from what we saw on the Ash Twin, there's ways to teleport. But maybe we should do that after we find the third escape pod. Or at least go back to the orbital probe cannon from reset. And... Because it is right here. Just around the, um, the outside of this. I explored this a long, long time ago. Probably like the first strain. Must be a way to find the other pieces, though. Considering literally points on the ship. Here's the breach. This will tell us where the module is. Mallow says, Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe, and you'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need it to find the probe once, anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Yeah, good job, Mallow. Did a great job with that shit, huh? Mallow, my better 50%, Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Kasava tells me 
He and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that the consequently will be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it constructionally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Great, guys. Great, great job. You're just really responsible. Yeah. Okay, so where's the probe tracking module? It's kind of gone. Oh! No way! Holy shit. Well, that just blew my mind. <laughs> well, uh... Guess that's where we're going, huh? You know, there's a perfect quote for this. It's, uh... Mr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, and I'm sure you know the one, so I don't even have to say it. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, since they only needed to fire the probe once. A Nomai named Privet encountered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection pool. Looks like the mod module is underwater. I can see purple electricity inside the viewport. Well, I know where we're going. the secret of the jellyfish, too, so... There you are. The secret of the jellyfish. Uh... Counterclockwise. There we go! <laughs> Don't know what was going on there, but... Alright. Come here, jellyfish. Find one that's going down. Which this one probably is. Unless all we need to do is look for one that's right here. Oh. Well, uh, that's not great. Not one of these, that's for sure. Oh, great. It's drifting into... We ourselves just have to go into the jellyfish. I feel like that was probably obvious, and I was just being an idiot. Oh, I only have a little bit of time. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. Sweet. Oh my god, we made it. That's amazing. Hell yes. Oh 
little weird. Whoa, gravity. Ugh, okay. Well, here we are. Okay, here we go, okay. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll soon be finished. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are! The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about the cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll set an alert directly to you and Raimi. That totally went well. Just want to see what, what it's going to bring up. Ah, ha, ha. There it is. Again. Hey there, bud. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the universe. You'll be first to see them. Ah, we read that. Alright. So... Oh. Whoa. Okay. So that's the pro cannon. Is the eye of the universe? Wait, what is? Nine, nine million, three hundred thousand. It's like eighteen thousand eighty-two. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe. Nine million, three hundred eighteen thousand fifty-four. Okay, so the other one has data that I missed. Uh, <laughs> great coordinates that I can't read. That sucks. Yeah, come on. one, but... So that's that. Suppose we've learned everything we can. <laughs> Seriously, come on.
Okay. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure what that implies other than the fact that the probes were launched that many times, but one of them managed to find it. With coordinates. But if it's always fluctuating, what does that... What does that imply? There's no way it could have stopped moving, unless the only way to stop it from moving was to create the time loop. And that's why it was created in the first place. I don't know. That's just giving any crack pot theories that I can. I'm probably totally off. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. I guess we just have to find the escape pod in the vessel now. Let's go to the the final let's go find the final escape pod. Something tells me that over in, in Escape Pod 3 didn't really. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't it. That was messy. Yeah, something tells me the, the ones in Escape Pod 3 didn't really make it out. Seems like Dark Bramble's whole thing is nobody really makes it out yet, if they don't know what they're in for. Uh, let me just check my OBS real quick. There we go. Right, let's find that third escape pod. I'm not going to leave that on, because no one wants to listen to that. Alright, here we go. I was on the right track. That's why. There it. <gasps> there it is. Find an entrance. Do I? There it is. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. 
Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Are we going to be able to find it then? Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Now launching Escape Pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to the pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. This is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time... We're nearly out of time already. Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it'll be gone, and we will be lost. We'll follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false! We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. Leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. There it is. Gonna follow those. the lights. Alright, ship. Thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. As if we were in two locations at once, we know how that goes. Where'd those lights go? Patch went this way. Well, there's the door for a second. Funny that it just gets despawned. I suppose that makes sense. Oh no. Holy shit. That's so tragic. Jesus. Any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within the thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have thrown, flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be able to manipulate time and sp or space itself. Maybe this whole- maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Of course, the vessel was speaking is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. That's so sad. My grave, yeah. I can say that. these guys. Here we go. No! God! Well, I tried to get out of the vehicle. That's gonna be a tough one to get past, but we're gonna do it. I'm 
I mean, we have to, really. We got a lot accomplished, though. Everything's kind of making sense now. Other than why this time loop is happening and how we break it, or maybe even, you know, if we can stop the sun from... Stop the sun from exploding and killing all of us. I don't even know what the, you know, I don't even know what the end goal is. I mean, we want to understand what's happening, but how do we save everyone? So. Yep, that's where we're gonna, we're gonna have to go back there. We'll have more time as well, so it's not all for not. Uh, got killed there. Hey, autopilot, maybe not into the sun, asshole. I mean, that's also my fault, but. Stop thinking about that though. Like, what, just what happened to them? That's just so sad. Maybe my, uh, maybe my friend Skittle Killer's idea about, uh, just ditching it and letting it fly through. Maybe that's a good idea, in a way, for what we're trying to do here. They're all camping that... Oh, we're just camping right there, and we can't get past them, then. to the seed. See if there's another way to get through there. There has to be. Can't be ditching my ship. 
I don't think that's gonna really, really work. I mean, it could be worth a shot. We might have to go check out that fossil to figure out how to keep them away from us. I doubt they were quantum lay. That can't be even remotely close to what we're... right now because I'm just gonna reset and go figure out the fossil and see what they discovered about it because they'll probably tell us how to how to keep them from eating us but don't. yeah I tried I tried to get out and, and unbuckle fast enough but let's go check out that fossil it's got to tell us the, the secret of how to get around them. There's no way that we're going to be able to get to the, uh, the vessel unless they're out of the way. on the city. Gotta get there fast enough. <laughs> cannon like we have before. I believe that you can get into the city this way. I feel like this was the fastest way I ever got in there before, so. Gotta get there before all the sand starts filling up. Shit. It's not. Alright. Chip should tell me how to get in there. I was like, what's that? What's... If I get too lost, but I think I'll I think I should remember how to get in there. Right. Yep, I do remember. through the escape 
pod to get to the caves in a much faster way. And I think I still remember how to even get inside the city itself, so. That's right, I got it. It's this way. Follow the directions of the, uh, the signs across the, the platforms here. And then you take a left, go up, and behind a waterfall of sand. A sandfall, if you will. <laughs> let's go, let's go. We're on a time limit. It's not like not like we're not like we're on any hurry or anything. Not like I have a bunch of things I need to do in here. on the city. Bottom is the, uh, one thing. You can, you, if you watch the other parts, you've seen it. I can't remember what it is, but we've already explored there, that's for sure. Alright, let's check this house really quick. Just to see if there's anything to find. I think it's just another way up. So, let's check out this. The stepping, stepping stone? Is this this is another way into the city, isn't it? I feel like we've already explored that. I might be wrong, but let's come back to it. I feel like that's just another entrance that you can take. in the fossil fish cave to play the game. You're too big to climb through the anglerfish overhook look hole. You'll have to go through the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave and then up and into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Taggett can't fit through the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller, taller than Levy now. Who cares? Ilex is still the tallest. Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to Anglerfish Overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Oh, okay. Thanks, kids. Alright, now we know. Anything in here that we haven't read? 
even though it's incredibly depressing to walk through here. Of the dead. I saw that room in there, but... Oh my gosh, are you kidding? <laughs> that was so stupid. Not because of the game, but because of me. Shouldn't have just jumped down the first one I saw. It was entirely my goop brain. See if I can see that blue light. I mean, it would it would help if I had the scout, but I don't feel like recalling it. So we. Ah, there we go. Who's been shuttling trend? Who's been compu computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit, we've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ash Twin. That would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle, and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. It is purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yero. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? Hi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ash Twin regularly. Right stepping stone cave. Coming. Running out of time, so. on oxygen before we left, but it's too late now. There it is. Ah, no, no, no! Seriously? Whoever was it when we needed, when we ended last time, is the anglerfish. Rule change: the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard. To, it's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Real update: it's okay if you're young. If younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it, the rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish. Line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. So it's it's light. Uh, I'm assuming. Has to be. I feel like that was probably obvious, but I'm too dense to get. <laughs> I'm too dense. Anglerfish study. Visually, this specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. This anglerfish's digestive, digestive tract suggests death by starvation. And, uh, Kalea says, an update. Malaray, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it's used this growth to attract prey. Oh. 
Well, now we know. They're blind, so we have to sneak past them. I feel like, like I said, I feel like that was probably obvious. But can't figure out these things myself, so. Time to get the vessel. We're so close to finishing. I'm gonna stream until we're done, because that's how close we are to the end of the game, so like... Yeah. Alright. Here we go. I don't even know if we're gonna have enough time for this, but... It's worth a shot. Look, the sun is gonna explode before that happens. We can even get there. You don't scare me. Not you, even though I, I love your playing. Scout through. Here we go. It must be the headlights. Breathing down my neck. That's awful. Hopefully, not past them yet. I don't know if I'm even allowed, like, I I'm afraid to use the boosters. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. I feel like that would attract them. Uh, 
the hair on my neck is like standing up because of all that. Nope, nope, nope. Go, go, go. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Oh, don't do that ever again, game. Ugh. I feel sick. <laughs> that sucked. That was awesome, but it sucked. It. It's the vessel. And now how do we... Now, now how do we get in? Because that doesn't seem like an entrance, does it? Because I, I should have checked it out first. Instead of just assuming. Am I even meant to go inside? Ah. Here's a final escape pod. Perhaps there's an entrance here. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskal, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may just disappear just as quickly. We can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for a warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this would be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem. Provided we arrive at or near our signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. What a mistake that was. What does this do? Okay, let's come back. Seems pretty damaged. I don't think we can do anything with it necessarily. These are all shut. What if we reroute it? I understand. 
understand. I think I'm doing something. Let's see what the ship says. We can never fucking get there. <laughs> well, we're about to reset, so... Give me a second. There's more to explore here. The vessel has more to explore! Don't re- don't explode me! Well, I assume it's the input thing that we found, but we don't have any kind of idea how to mess with that yet. Yeah. We might actually not finish today after all. Guess we'll have to see. I don't know if we've seen anything like that that would give us any kind of clue as to what to do there. I'm trying to like think of something that even resembles the what kind of shapes we could make. Especially because it's three-sided. be from the Ash Twin Towers. So I have to wait until they're pointing at uh, Bramble North? Or Brittle North? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Unless there's more around the vessel I just didn't happen to find yet. So I'd imagine... Yeah, I'd imagine we need to take- we need to go to- so we need to go to there move the Black Hole Forge down from the Meltwater District, then take the teleport over there to get to the inside. So let's try that. It seems like the most likely thing to do. So we gotta go to the Meltwater District, which we can get to pretty fast if we take the, if we land in the Gravity Cannon. journey, though. We're almost, we've almost connected all the pieces, I feel like, but there's probably more that we don't even know about.
City, go to Meltwater District, lower the forge, leave, go to the Ash Twin, uh, wait till we can use the teleporters, I suppose, which we're gonna have a limited amount of time, but work with what we can get. It'll probably be the final. Eh, we'll see. It might be the final loop. Uh, we'll just work with what we got. Not worry about it. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe we'll be able to beat the game. If we don't, then we'll beat the game and start the DLC in one stream, which will be uh, next weekend. That's gonna be exciting. It'd be faster to just jump in the black hole. Go for go to White Hole Station and back on the surface of the planet. That's what we're doing, so too bad. I said so. Oh down. Stairs, wrong side. Put it on. Make it there in time. It's important. And there we go. Should be able to get back to our ship in no time. down a little bit because there might be a huge abyss that okay we're good get there in time. I think we have a lot of time, actually. I don't think there's much to worry about right now. We do have to wait for the, the pillars to be, like, unearthed or whatever. Whoa! Speed. Well, 
Well, that wasn't the final loop, that's for sure. Guess what we have to do? Do that shit all over again, because I'm an idiot. I'm a dummy. One more try. One more try. God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna get there though. It's the last thing I do. You know, I do wonder, would it be faster? No, no, it can't be. What about what about from over here? Because this is where you to Whitehall Station. I know that there's like the uh, the little entrance that you can take in the glaciers down into the city. I don't remember where. Only one of these. Ah, oh, my brain. So good at remembering things. Just so good. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do it the hard way. Again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Concern has gone out the window. I'm just playing terribly at this point. At this point, I've always played terribly. You've returned! Hi! Welcome back. Um, we are heading... We're, we're crossing off everything off the list. A lot of stuff happened. We got to the eye, and it was really intense and emotional and really cool. Um, and now we gotta cross everything off the list, I guess, to just figure out what the hell to do, because we, we found the vessel and figured out how to, uh... How to not get eaten, for the most part. Slightly unsuccessfully, but... Um, and now, and, uh, now I just gotta... I'm crossing everything off to figure out what to enter in the, uh, the vessel's uh, thing. See, see what it, uh, we gotta do. And I took the long way around, but too late now. Really fortunate that I didn't crash and burn. You got to the sixth location? Yeah, it was a uh, it was really intense. Like it had a it had a really like very emotional impact for me. Uh, don't know, you know, can't say for everyone, but for me it was like a real holy shit moment. Cause we just you spend the entire game just hearing about these people to finally like get to meet one and you know have dialogue with them it was it was insane and and it made so much sense as to how they communicated now and like why the way that they communicate is the way it is like we got to we got to read how they communicate and like see it through symbols and and the way that they like translate that into writing it was great it was an amazing moment I had an amazing experience with that Went the long way around like an idiot, so I'm figuring out how to get back to where I want to. 
God damn, I'm just, I wasted a bunch of time. Ugh. This is not my favorite place to try to get around, but. Yeah, yeah. He that's where I wanted to go, but I'm a dummy. That's not even the finale, yeah. Solomon, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um. Solemn, whatever, yeah, yeah. Well, this isn't exactly what I wanted to do. Well, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Gonna meditate in space for a little bit and die. Um. Yeah, so... Ugh, we're really close, though. I just gotta get to Meltwater District, lower the forge, go to Ash Twin, find out which portal sends you to that one, to the Black Hole Forge, explore it, and get it crossed off the list, and then... Um... Figure out the symbols in the vessel. Let me see. Pretty sure that's all we have to do. Yeah, because, I mean, getting to the Ash Twin Project uh, is, a, is a whole thing. But this is, this is all I know how to do right now, so we're just going to do that first. That's not even, the, and that's not even the finale. Yeah, that's exciting. I mean, like, that, that entire moment was super impactful. Got, like, a nat 20 loop away from beating the game. Nice. That's, ex that's so exciting. I'll probably just stick it out until I do beat it, because we're so close to the end that I feel like cutting it off and, and not... not ending the game on this part of the VOD and then, like, saving the DLC for next time. I don't know. I, I just, I kind of want to try to wrap it up, you know. Try, tr at least try to get to that point. Alright. I was an idiot and tried to go, the, tried to do a different path when this is like, very clearly the fastest path is to just go from the gravity cannon. Take the crossroads, get to Meltwater from Aang City, get to Ash Twin. Not get ourselves killed like last time. In a very stupid way. As usual. Most of the ways you die in this game are from just stupidity, to be fair. Other than the sun exploding. You can't really prevent that one. That one's kinda. And you kind of signed up for that one. That one is uh, going to happen. Love this game. I had to search deep in the memory banks to remember where the bit you need is, and the dramatic irony of knowledge is exhilarating. Yeah. Yeah, God. This game has been incredible from start to finish. Like... I haven't had any qualms with this game at all, really, and it's like most of the frustration I felt was because of me just playing sloppily, like, and doing something stupid and risky and it not paying off, and it's like, oh, well, I did something stupid and risky, should have seen that coming. Like, everything's kind of finally gotten to the point where it's like, I, I, you know, I don't have the whole picture, of course, but a lot of it is clicking. Like, a lot of things make sense now, and, um, and 
I'm sure they'll like, make even more sense. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, actually, that is a way to get to the surface. I could do that. But, eh. Let's just do, let's just let's just throw ourselves in, and then uh, white hole station to get to the surface and. Whoa! Whoa! Uh... Anyways, <laughs> that was interesting, I was just slingshotting. Alright, Whitehall Station. He saved me the trip of going back to the surface. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, orbiting the event horizon. That was it, that was really interesting. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, and also like figuring out what the ang how the anglerfish work. It was such a moment of like, oh duh, like of course they react to the light. Like yeah, they're like I didn't know they were blind, but it's like, oh of course. But, like such a like, a like slap my own forehead kind of moment. This game has had a lot of those for me. I'm not exactly a puzzle solver, but eh, you know, you know, I, I've gotten I've gotten most of them by myself. Just the more complex ones. Did you know you can't see yourself in the orbit, but your drone will? Oh, interesting. I did not know that. The more you know. Hollow lantern. Hollow's lantern, or yeah, fucking don't blow me up. That's the point. Just don't shoot me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I landed on this side this time. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense game mechanic wise though. Yeah, of course. Oh, let's uh give her the old fix her up. There we go. 98% is good enough for me. That's passing. It's a passing grade. Alright. Ash twin, here we come. Don't go behind the sun so that it sucks us in and kills us. Looks like you're going behind the sun. Oh no, you're you're over here. Okay. Uh, come on. Nailed. <laughs> Perfect landing. How much do you know about Ash Twin? Um, I know that it has the teleports that I accidentally stumbled upon. So, like, one of them must lead to... That's Giant's Deep, clearly. So I have to figure out how to get it to line up with the other one. That's the only way I could think of getting to the Black Hole Observatories. Or, like, the... Yeah, like, the Forge is through one of these. Because the way that... It got delivered from here, like the, the, from the forge, it got delivered, so it must be one of these. Or from the forge it got delivered to here. So they must lead to each other. I'll just have to wait for the uh, thing to line up again. This is the only other teleport that I could think of that would lead there. It's one of these. I'm hoping that's right, but who knows. We'll find out. We... That's really pretty, though. <laughs> Did I not think this through? I didn't think this through, did I? Well, 
At least we'll have the ceiling to catch us. Oh, it's fine. See, we're fine. Yeah, at the end of last stream, last time I streamed this, I, like, s walked onto it accidentally when it aligned with another planet, and I don't remember which one. Oh, it was, uh, Timber Hearth, and it was hilarious, because I was like, oh, that's important. Well, I'm ending the stream. See ya. Alright, come on. We're almost there. Uh, it feels significant that my ship is just plummeting away, but, you know, we'll deal with that when we get there. So close, come on! <clears throat> Sorry, I don't run away for like five minutes. Pretend I know what's going on still. Ah, no worries. I'm just waiting for this to line up with, uh... Well, I'm waiting for the sand to go down enough so that the teleport is revealed in one of these, and so it'll line up with, uh, Riddle Hollow, and then I can teleport to the forge, because I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Because it, uh, it mentioned in the, uh, in the notes that that's how they delivered the warp cores, was, was by doing that, so... They have an established connection between the forge and, and here. We just gotta find it. Oh, trees detected. No way. Alright, now we wait. Excuse me. I'm in the middle of something here. Ah! Come on. Fuck it off. Stop playing around. Quit playing games with my heart. <gasps> Wait. No, oh, did I miss it? No! Shit. That had to have been it, too. Unless I'm at the wrong one, maybe I have to go to a white one. If it wait, if yeah, because if it was Ash Twin, if it was from Ash Twin to here, I would have to stand on the white one, wouldn't I? If that's even a possibility, I don't think it is. I think I think this is right. I think this has to be correct. I guess we'll just stand here and see. It should be coming around. Please work. Any second. Wait, no, that's Giant Steep. Get out of here, Giant Steep. I'm not falling for that shit. It didn't work. <laughs> Damn it! White holes only exit. What? Oh man, that didn't work. It must be me. I must have messed up something up. So maybe there's another tower. That I'm missing. Or maybe it's on uh I don't know. Oh, here here's this. This could work. This has a chance to work. Probably. Maybe. Real seriously. Did I just run into the cactus while I wasn't looking? Yeah, that's gonna lead to. I'm hoping this one will work. 
it'll even line up. Because if that one goes to Timber Hearth, because it did, I'm pretty sure, when I stepped in that one last time, this one should at least go to something that's not <laughs> Timber Hearth. Please. Come on. No! Shit! So is it this one? <laughs> Gotta have to wait for it to go all the way around again. Listen, at least I'm getting somewhere, question mark? Breathing noises from my spacesuit really adds to it. The tension. Okay, am I gonna make it? Knowing this game, there should be labels or symbols on the teleporter. That's very true. I probably should have been paying attention. That's on me. This one probably just leads to the twin, then, if this isn't gonna work. Oh, yeah, because the way that- that's probably what that means, that line there, because it looks like it's connected. Coming around yet? It's worth a shot. I'm gonna linger here until we at least line up, and if it doesn't work, then we know it's none of these. It's one of- it's just- one of them. Okay, so it very clearly doesn't line up because nothing's happening. And the only one it went to was the twin. So it must, this must be the one for the twin. Has to be. Okay, let's try one more time. Nope. Yeah. We know now. We know now. Wait. Hey, that one's the same. It's this one. Oh, and this is the one that's all fucky wucky. I can I got this. I got this. I've done it before. I've done it before without the sand. I got this. <laughs> Damn it! I got this. See, all a part of the plan. I'm going to suffocate. It's fine. Wait, where was that napping no my guy trying to go in? Or go to? Oh, yeah! That's. You know, that's probably important. Oh, my ship is over there. Well... No! No, you're almost there! It's right there! Oh, and it was just lining up, so we will never know if it was going to work. Okay, where was that napping no my guy trying to go to? Um... I mean, I'm pretty sure... Wait, let me just check my OBS real quick. Okay. I am pretty sure... Um, yeah, excuse me, um, I don't think it was, I don't think, I don't, th I don't know, I don't think it was 
that one was like i don't think it was that teleporter was it because i'm pretty sure i tried that one and that was the broken one I minimize OBS again. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Man, I just want to beat this. <gasps> or I at least want to get close. I must not look it up. Must not look up which tower it is. I will get this. But we're about to hit four minutes in our four minutes. We're about to hit four hours and fifteen minutes. That's a that's a very long stream. Oh, I am a little conflicted. You got it like two loops away. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I wish the game wouldn't, like, unfocus and pause when I tab out, because I want to, like, look at my stream stuff and make sure everything's okay, but... Is this mystery and revisiting one more place? Okay. So we'll pull through. We got this. our steps yet again. Damn, is this one actually tricky. It's just timing, too. And also, I did puncture my suit like a million times, and that was stupid of me. But I had to make sure it wasn't that teleport, so. And it could have been the teleporter, too, but I, um this thing where you die and suffocate because I had no more oxygen left and my ship got sucked up by the sand thing. Hurry. I mean, we really don't need to hurry. Oh, I'm an idiot. Fucking... Are you kidding me? That's why we don't rush things. What is wrong with me? Uh... I'm so embarrassed. I'm just, th this is just making it worse. I'm just making it worse. Focus, focus, stop throwing. Is she pretending? All right. Let's try that again. Jesus. Well, that just happened. Don't feel bad. Ah. Thank you. to get into Giants Deep was speed, and when that didn't work, I just... <laughs> faster -er. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought, like, it would just, like, plummet through the atmosphere and just, like, go so fast that you puncture through it. But, uh... The game didn't like that one. Was this one? Oh yeah! I forgot about you. I forgot that there was actually an entrance there. Is 
actually easier if I land on the shack side, because when I come up from the thing, it'll just be right here. Spent seven minutes flying away. Went full speed into it at like 10 kilometers a second. I feel like that should work, right? Like, come on. Nah, I, I get it. It's a puzzle, but it's like... In my, in my head, that makes sense. Exactly, that makes sense. So yeah, these, these little lights match up with the ones that we saw in the teleport. I guess we just gotta figure out which one goes to it. Cause... I don't know. Or like, I, I guess which one is working. Like, I'm literally the main character. That water should go learn how to get on my way. Yeah, right? God. Like, they should be making way for us. Like, we're the, we're the hero here. Like, what's the problem? Conquer you one day, Space Moon. Alright. Back to the grind. we didn't plummet off of a bridge and smash our face into something so hard it killed us, so it's a start. I guess Dead Guy's Tower should be the should be the right one as well. Seems pretty significant to put the guy like crawling over to that one. It's the game being like, hey, it's this one. In case you're confused. So Ren can figure out how to play video games for once. into the sun. struggle in this game is separating storyline and plot mystery and mechanical progress mysteries. Ooh. Like, like, player-wise. Because I, I, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Uh -oh. I totally get that.
worked. By Jove, it worked. Ah, really? Did that just happen? Oh my god. So where's the, uh... The big suck from its plant, the other planet? Because I want to get out of the way of that, preferably. And it would be, like, right around here. Maybe land not there? Would be cool. Maybe like there. I'm sure it'll happen anyways, but you know. Oh, I could land it like here. That'd be tricky. It's tricky. You. I see you over there. I'm just gonna waste some time. If only there's a campfire, then I'm gonna be like, wait for however many minutes. But no. <laughs> Gotta wait for the, uh... Gotta wait for super dead guy who's, like, crawling out the tower to show up. He's on the equator. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Oh, and it's already sinking pretty low, too. Alright, I guess I'll just wait patiently. Not waste my fuel. so hard. It's my Rubik's Cube. It's my fidget spinner. You can't do this to me. I have ADHD. This is torture! Badly, do you want to beat the game this stream? Because there's a hint I have that'll help you. Oh, I'd love a hint. That'd be great. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take a hint. Because I do, I really do want to wrap it up this stream. That'd be really nice to just kind of like get it all done and then we can move on to the DLC. Uh, next stream. Or next weekend, obviously. Black Hole Forge just teaches you about the teleporters. Ah, but don't I have to, uh... Don't I have to mark it off on the on the thingy? For it to, like, complete the map? Isn't that something I have to do? Or is that, like, optional? I just felt... I, I, ju I guess I just assumed that you needed to do that, so... Optional. Oh... Well, phooey. I guess we're already here. We might as well see it through, I suppose. Oh yeah, I remember this room. Let's see if uh let's see if I can't get it done and then if it if I don't do it this time, then we'll just uh go for beating it. There's these two. 
Whoa, that's crazy. I love that. Well, it can't be that one, because that one's like the, uh... That one's like the... Oh, wait, it's this one! Because, look, it's all rocky, like, like Brittle Heart. It's this one. It has, like, the... Because that one... This one is the tornado... That one over there was the tornado-looking one. This one looks like the, uh, the crust. Game is spending 8 to 24 hours learning that stuff. Ah, I mean, that's so smart. I love that. Come on. Any day now. Any day now. We're almost there. Oh my god. Fucking- <gasps> No! No! No, why did- Why would jumping do that? Why would- No! <laughs> ah! Oh, there was no warning or anything. It was just like, well... Well, guess what? I guess we're just gonna go beat the game. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Should I reset? Or, I mean, yeah, clearly, because the ship is all the way over there. Alright. We're beating the game. Oof. Yeah, that sucked. Well. Lame that it's just like, hey, you jumped once. Fuck you. I was just gonna jump over there. Did you get into a Giant's Deep Core yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. I got, uh, I did. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, those are the coordinates, aren't they? From the... Is that what you put on the thingy? Because if we got the coordinates, is that what you put in the, in the vessel? Because that would make sense. That just clicked, by the way. <laughs> We got where is it yeah oh yeah there's three of them yo is that it is that what we do that would make sense three symbols yeah that gravity part works better when you have time to learn from your mistakes yeah yeah. Alright, well, it seems like that's where we're gonna be going. Because... It makes sense. It has to be that. Oh, wait, I'm, I got Discord messages. Ooh. Yeah, just making sure. Alright. That has to be it. Totally. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, I'm not that I'm not that sad about it, but it's just like, damn. Really? <laughs> like, you know, like like really? Oh. I didn't even know it was a gravity floor thing. I thought it was I I guess it was obvious, but I'm I don't know. I'm silly.
when you do get to that part and look up, it's spooky to say the least. Oh yeah. Oh god, I'd imagine. I wish I got time to appreciate it, but yeah, things be how they are. How fitting that the moon is orbiting Bramble for its last loop. Aww. Yeah. Alright. and then shoot the thing and do the thing. Or like the duplicate signal I mean and then I'm gonna shoot the thing. Probably could just glean where it is from. Also this part was really messed up. Made me really sad. I, I did not like finding all of these dead people. <laughs> Poor Nomai. Especially dying in a place like this. Um, what's going on? What? Nobody move. Oh, I hate this. This part is awful. I actually hate this. Makes a lot of sense as to why they were like hounding around this area though, it's because it's their babies. Ooh, under 10%. Oh, thank you, thank you. Under 10%. Okay. I did this last time, I got to like right here and, and went a little too fast and it started coming at me and I freaked out and just gunned it and I still made it, but oh my god, it was terrifying. that part so much. It is the worst. I hate it. And I never want to do it again. Excuse me, skeletons. There's a big old ship coming. Alright. How in the heck? I guess you just gotta memorize it and run back and forth. 
So one, two, and then diagonal across. So diagonal across, and then half, top half hourglass, and then uh, funny. I don't, I don't know. Diagonal across, top half of an hourglass, and then silly one. Oh. Um, oops. That in. Aw, you're not stupid. You gotta investigate the teleporter with the nappy guy first. No. Wait, really? <gasps> no! We have to? Keep getting it's about to hit five hours. <laughs> should we should we oh man <sighs> We might finish it and then hop over to the DLC because I'm like I am very tired well, There's the eye of the universe though. Yeah, I won't blame you your choice. Yeah. Oh man. That's so unfortunate. All right. I Mean hey, we got this far. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. Oh, hey you know what? I didn't read- I didn't see this, so... Do any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message? It's clear that the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Blackrock's suns are fairly stable, and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safely. safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Bromi says, Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on our way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my granddaughter used to tell, the disappearance of a skull. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, a skull's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was, it was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. Ugh. It's no myth, friends. A skull's clan existed, and their story was real, says Hissop. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hissop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared in this way. Hisop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan- my clan's vessel, says Neem. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone! Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the Bright Spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. I'll meet you soon, Kana. So that's why the suns are going- everything's going supernova. The universe is dying. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessel nearby 
Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Shit. This is a Skull's vessel. Something went ter- uh, ahem. Felix says, This is a Skull's vessel. Something went badly- badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have- has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now a part of the vessel. It has been torn apart from the inside itself. We- we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Aw, man. That's really sad. Really, really fucking sad. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. I'll read this and then we'll uh, we'll save it for next stream, and um, also hop into the, the the DLC as well. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai were worried that the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were even going. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Alright. We're this close. Just these two, and then and then we got it. And then we're and then we we're gonna get into the uh the finale. Jeez. Alright. Next stream I'll need to show you how to break yes from no. And also the sun station. Definitely. Hell yeah. Alright. That was so much fun. We learned, like, tons of stuff this time. We're basically at the end and have kind of wrapped together the story of the Nomai and they, they you know, they, the, the, what happened from the very start. So, yeah. I mean, I'm having an amazing, I've, I've had an amazing time with this game. I can't wait to get to the DLC. And, um, we'll also figure out sometime what we want to do for a, a third stream. Um, th but, th but this series takes priority. Um, yeah. So, it's been, it's been really fun. We had a couple of other people stop by as well to, to, to say hi. So thank you to those who stopped by. Thank you to Skittle Killer as usual, as always, for, for hanging out and, and helping. Uh, always enjoy your company. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, streaming next Saturday, Sunday? You bet. Uh, Friday's horror games. Saturday, Sunday, right now is, uh, is Outer Wilds. Uh, we're gonna try to come with, like, try to get on a third series soon, coming up sometime, but, um, we're gonna figure out what that is. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's been really fun. I can't wait to finish this out and start the DLC next Saturday, Sunday. Thank you for watching, and thank you for coming by. Um, the VOD should be going up shortly after this um the last one took a little bit because of some song and one of the horror games we played got claimed it was, it was really annoying but uh it's up now so want to check that out it's up on the vod channel um yeah next friday saturday sunday continuing the streams friday's horror games saturday sunday is outer wilds uh have a good night skittle killer and have a good night everyone watching this if it's in the future or the past um i hope you're doing all right uh, yeah, thank you so much. I will leave you all, as usual, with an image. Let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, get something. Last time it was Polnara. Feel like, uh, feel like, feel like this one really sums up how I feel about this stream in a good way, because we learned a lot of things. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming by. I will catch you all next time. See you Friday. Wow!